Space has always fascinated humanity, and certain stars have served as guiding lights for explorers, sailors and travellers throughout history. One of those stars, the beautiful Rigel, captivates us all. Rigel is in all probability the most popular star to make videos about on YouTube, and hopefully not to jinx this one, but Rigel videos it seems always perform well. I guess there's just something about that beautiful blue tinge at the bottom right corner of Orion. Hi everyone, Vega here and in today's video we're going to return to the beautiful blue supergiant star, but this time we gaze into what future may hold for this stunning star. So let's get to it. I like to think of Rigel as the mother of our local area, second largest star by mass, brightest by luminosity, and with the possible exception of Canopus, which lies somewhere in between, it has the brightest apparent magnitude of a supergiant star that we can see with our naked eyes. Rigel stands as a class B818 blue supergiant in the Orion constellation, gracing our winter evenings up here in the northern hemisphere, and delighting those of you in the southern hemisphere in the summer evenings. Not just a single star, but a multi-star system composed of four stars. Although Rigel is relatively close to us at an estimated 860 light years, its influence goes far beyond our solar system. Some of you may have seen our feature length video on our sun, and how far away it would have to be before it disappeared from our skies, and the answer is 73 light years, at least to the naked eye. Well prepare to be amazed, because Rigel by contrast, would still be visible to the naked eye approximately 25,000 light years away, still boasting that key apparent magnitude of 6.5. For reference, that is approximately one quarter of the way across our entire Milky Way galaxy, or indeed, as far as the Sagittarius A star that lies in the center. Throughout history, Rigel has been a vital navigational aid for Earth sailors and travelers, thanks to its prominence in the Orion constellation. But it's not going to end there. As space exploration extends beyond our solar system, because of its sheer luminance, the future Rigel will continue to serve as a crucial waypoint for interstellar navigation. Spacecraft of the future could well be relying on Rigel's position and proper motion to determine their location and orientation in space. As an illustrative example, the star of HD 34445, a small G-class dwarf much in the mould of our Sun, is in the direction of Rigel, and it has a sub-Jovian planet that is located within the star's habitable zone. So one day, who knows, it may attract interstellar visitors someday. Just like driving down the motorway, we will follow signage with a larger city, or should I say star in this case, signposted, Rigel, so we know which general direction we're headed. Rigel, of course, belongs to a category of massive, luminous stars. Over time, this stellar beast has depleted its hydrogen fuel, and soon enough, celestially speaking at least, it will enter a phase of expansion. Despite its already frankly majestic status, Rigel's journey has only really just begun, and it's destined to metamorphosize into a red supergiant star. But not your typical large red star, of course, like maybe Arcturus or Aldebaran. No, Rigel has bigger plans. Its final volume will be unclear, but the chances are that it would likely be even larger than Antares or Betelgeuse. It remains indeed within the realms of possibilities that its borders could even expand to those of the mythical hypergiant stars like Vy Canis Majoris or Uy Scuti. Obviously, this transformation is eagerly awaited by astronomers, as it will provide crucial insights into the final stages of massive star evolution. Being one of the brightest nearby supergiants, when this happens a few million years or so from now, Rigel will offer an exceptional opportunity to refine models and theories, if of course they're not already perfected by then, or indeed the humanity still exists, deepening our understanding of the broader universe. Of course Rigel is not a stationary point, and a radial velocity of 1.31 km a second, Rigel is ever so slowly making its way away from our solar system, and will slowly dim over the coming millennia. But it's not going anywhere fast, unlike Betelgeuse of course, which is actually racing away from us at over 21 kilometers a second. Yes, it's safe to say that the celestial mother of our local area is going to stick around and keep an eye on us from a safe distance for the foreseeable future. Indeed, Rigel's future interactions with nearby stars, star clusters and even potential close encounters with our solar system remain intriguing prospects. When Rigel transitions into a red supergiant, as one of the largest stars in our galaxy during this phase, indeed, the red supergiant Rigel will increase in luminosity. The current absolute magnitude of minus 7.84, which is the brightness it would appear as if it were 10 parsecs, or 32.6 light years away, 
is testaments to its current brilliance, making it the most luminous star within 1000 light years. Although Deneb at minus 8.38 would actually overshadow Rigel in luminosity, Deneb lies beyond the 1000 light year mark, so Rigel, therefore, earns its distinction as an exceptionally radiant celestial object. Viewers of this channel will likely be aware that Rigel forms an integral part of the winter hexagon, a dazzling star pattern that captivates observers during the cold midwinter nights. So it seems likely that in the next few million years, Rigel is projected to evolve into a red supergiant, initiating its path towards the final phases of its stellar journey. This red hypergiant phase is estimated to last between 100,000 and 500,000 years. After this, the probability is that a gigantic supernova explosion will leave behind an almost infinitely dense degenerate object, which some might call a black hole. Wherever we are at the time, the supernova will be so bright that it promises to be a momentous spectacle, even if it will be unfolding over cosmic timescales, and definitely, definitely not within our lifetimes. Sorry guys, Rigel is burning fast, but it's still not ready to go boom just yet, unlike its counterparts of Antares or Betelgeuse. In today's graphic, we imagine the stages that Rigel will pass through as it ages. The brightnesses are only speculative though, as we don't really know how bright things will become. The first stage, Rigel expands into a red supergiant, increasing its luminosity, but definitely turning red in colour. The star slowly dims then as it moves away from us over the next 500,000 years, until eventually we see the supernova, a huge celestial event in our night skies, which will by then likely have been preceded by both Betelgeuse and Antares, as well as possibly the star of Canopus, although this depends on which stage of the blue loop the star finds itself in. Rigel is an emblematic star in the Orion constellation. Its significance in the night sky would stretch as far as 25,000 light years before it disappeared from naked eye view. Rigel is likely to be used for navigation in space in the future and will eventually swell into one of the very largest stars in the entire galaxy. As Rigel embarks on this journey, it does open a window for humanity to witness the grand finale of a massive star's life. The discoveries that await us as we observe and study Rigel's evolution as humanity advances over the coming millennia will undoubtedly enrich our understanding of the cosmos, and indeed, our own place within it. Thanks for watching and consider subscribing if you haven't already. If you would like to support the channel further you could consider buying me a coffee and I'll link this in the description. Thanks to those of you who have already done so. If you'd like any videos or subjects brought to life, let me know in the comments below and perhaps next week your idea could show up. Take good care of yourselves and look after your friends and family well and I'll see you on the next one.